This project delves into global trades in democracy and demonstrations between 1997 and 2022. We utilize democracy ratings data from Freedom House and demonstrations data from the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, or ACRED. The analysis focuses on a specific set of countries with a complete data set from a designated reference year up to 2022, allowing us to track trades in both overall and political demonstrations. Examining these trades sheds light on the relationship between democratic health and demonstrations. Several key observations emerge when examining countries with full data coverage from 1997 to 2022. Firstly, a significant rise in both demonstration types is evident since 2011. For example, tracking six free countries reveals a jump from roughly 100 demonstrations and political violence events each in 1997 to approximately 1,400 demonstrations and 600 political violence events in 2022. Partly free countries exhibit a similar trend with increases from roughly 1,000 demonstrations and 100 political violence events in 1997 to 6,500 6, demonstrations and 4,000 political events in 2022. This surge is attributed to factors such as rise in social media and global communication, generational shifts, contagion and regional influences, weak political representation, and economic grievances. Secondly, a distinction exists between demonstration types across freedom classifications. Free countries tend to have more demonstrations compared to political violence events, while partly free and non-free countries exhibit the opposite pattern. Thirdly, the prevalence of political violence events is highest in non-free countries, followed by partly free and free countries. Fourthly, demonstrations are now more frequent in partly free countries compared to non-free countries. Similar trades are observed across other years with a notable jump in both demonstration and political violence events in patri-free and non-free countries allowed 2010. For instance, demonstrations in patri-free countries rose from 4,000 to 15,000, exceeding political violence events which increased from 6,500 to 9,000. In non-free countries, demonstrations rose from 3,000 to 5,000, while political violence events went from 11,000 to 20,000. The increasing frequency of demonstrations and political violence events underscores the urgent need to address factors that fuel such activity, particularly the surge observed in unfree and partly free countries in 2010. These factors include income inequality, government repression, electoral fraud, ethnic or religious tensions, and a wider range of socio economic and political grievances. Our next project will embark on a global analysis of internet costs and uptake. Until then, thank you for your attention.